Hey everybody, just wanted to share some updates on the Powerall Plus install. Um, so it's been about a little bit over a week now, passed all our inspections and uh, been using the system pretty extensively. Um, given we're out in Washington and we're getting a lot of daylight right now um, and some good sun, which is rare. Uh, been able to do a ton of testing. We also had one half hour power outage. So, so far important things to note for us. Um, definitely backs up the house seamlessly, no interruption in um, power flow uh, between sources, uh, no interruption during the power outage until the AC compressor tried to kick on. It was at about 5 p.m. So we're producing like 0.5 kilowatts of solar and uh, the AC compressor was unable to kick on, which actually tripped the Tesla battery. So since there's no um, additional panel on these installs with the inverter on top, you guys can see right here, um, it's pretty much just the power wall and the panel along with that inverter. And then outside, I'll take you around here. We're working with the disconnect. You can see how it feeds directly into the meter with the new attachment there. So um, notably, uh, it's just the power wall that's tripping. It's not a specific breaker and it resets and interrupts power for like 30 seconds. So um, we're gonna be more careful about allowing the AC to attempt to come on and I'll do another extensive test during full power production if we get a power outage to see if the AC actually can come on with solar producing like in the three kilowatt range. So um, definitely interesting for those of you anticipating summertime power outages. We're not really typically um, going to experience that here. It's just the winter. So there'll be a little bit of time before we can get into that. But yeah, otherwise, uh, we've been extremely impressed. The system's been pre producing about 27 um, kilowatts per day um, on these sunny days. So it's been more than powering the house, uh, injecting a handful back into the grid, even with the AC and the dryer on. Um, and this is about a, a little bit over a 3,000 square foot house and with just one power wall plus. So been really happy with, um, you know, the whole extent of just having one. It was really going to be like an auxiliary system and I think it's overperforming to say the least. So. Yep, those are some updates so far. You guys let me know if you have any questions. Also, really looking to see what it would take to install another power wall in here one day and do a feature on doing an add-on to an existing system. So in order to do that, you guys wanna um, use my referral link if you end up getting a power wall. That'll get me one step closer to being able to do that someday. So thank you guys for everything and I'll do my best to answer any questions in the uh, comments. Thank you, thank you.